Hello everyone, we will continue the topic and in this video we will cover three important points or I will say three points which we need to take care while going for PDF forms or Adobe forms. I will go for first point which we already covered but here I will go into detail of that point. Suppose I am going for SFP transaction code. I'm just going for my PDF form. I'm going to change mode. Sometimes what happens whenever we are clicking on to layout button, we are getting a error message or I will say information pop-up unable to open the layout. Many times people are getting this error. So the reason behind that is you do not have a Adobe Lifecycle Designer. That's why that error is coming. And at the first point we covered, if you want to design a layout, Adobe Lifecycle Designer is compulsory. In our current system, I'm not getting this error because I have the Adobe Lifecycle Designer. So you should be make sure that you have Adobe Lifecycle Designer if you want to design the layout. Suppose if I will show you in my current system, if I will go to the programs installed, if I will go to programs, you can see we have in this current system, I have Adobe Lifecycle Designer. That's why I'm able to design the layout. Now, we'll go for second important point. Many times what happened? Yes, you are able to design the layout. You are able to complete the PDF form. But whenever you are running the PDF form, you are getting the error the output is not coming. The reason behind that is in your current system, ADS is not working. This is the common mistake from our end. It's no, no mistake at all. We develop everything correct, but our Adobe document services server is not working. The full form of ADS is Adobe document services server. It should work if you want to check the output of your Adobe form. This Adobe document services server should work. If you want to check that in your current system, this services server, Adobe document services server is working or not working, you can simply go to program FP underscore test underscore zero zero. Suppose, I will go to SC38 transaction code and show you. I will go to SC38 transaction code. You can pass the program FP underscore test underscore zero zero execute. With the help of this program, we can check the ADS connectivity means Adobe document services server connectivity. Simply execute. Go for print preview. If you are getting the result, it means your Adobe document services server is working fine. If you are getting an error, suppose unable to reach to Adobe document services server, in that case, you have to check with basis person. They will start this Adobe document services server. Many times it happen that we are doing everything correct, but our Adobe document services server is not working. Because of that, we are unable to check the output. So with the help of this program, you can check the output that your ADS is working or not. The name of the program is FP underscore test underscore zero zero. Now I will come on to a point which is most extremely important point, that concept of position and floor page. If you remember, when we started with the layout designing, when we started with the layout designing, we took the 
body page as flowed and why we took the body page as flowed because we have the item data and item data is dynamic in nature it should flow to the next page if you see if i will come on to body page this is our body page if i will show you the object you can see we have taken the property of the content property as flowed now i will go into detail if you are going for position and if you are going for flowed how how your layout is this is the most important point because many times people ask if the page is flowed i am not able to adjust or i am not able to give the starting position of the sub form so we will go into detail what is position and what is flowed so what i will do for the best understanding i will just create a pdf form and i will show you how positioned is and how flowed is i am just creating a pdf form i'll just give that description just we are just understanding how positioned and flowed is i will use same to same interface which we created i'll just go to layout button because just we want to understand the positioned and flowed so i will not go for any extra thing just i will show you so this is our body page i'll go to palettes if i will show you the object of our body page you can see as of now it is positioned or oh, i will show you now suppose in our body page i am creating a sub form and here you will realize how positioned is i am creating a sub form so we have the first sub form we have the first sub form i can simply draw go for down i can simply go for up everything is in my hand i can set the positions of the sub forms suppose i am creating one more sub form insert sub form now you can see we have the another sub form starting position of the next sub form is in my hands i can put it here also i can put it here also i can put at any place means the starting position of the sub form is in my hands if the page is positioned position means it is in your hands to set the position of the sub forms now what i will do we already covered the flow but i will show you the most important point which you might missed at that point of time suppose i am deleting this sub form i am deleting this sub form also now i will take the page as flow now i am taking the sub form into this page i am going for sub form you can see the starting position is not in my hand yes i can decrease the height yes i can decrease the height of the sub form i can increase the width suppose if i'll show you i'll select the sub form i can increase the width i can increase the height i can decrease the height but starting position is not in my hand suppose i am going for another sub form into this page flowed page insert sub form and you can see the next sub form immediately started when the first sub form finish it is not in your hands to start the to set the starting position of the sub forms if your page is flowed that this is the meaning of the flowed when one sub form finished 
immediately the second sub form start immediately the third sub form start but if your page is positioned you have a option to set the positions of the individual sub form so this is the main main difference between the position and the floor page so you should be take care that what type or what sort of output is required whenever you are going for creation of PDF form. So in this video, we covered three important points. First point, if you are clicking on the layout button and you are getting an error unable to open the layout, it means you do not have ADLC, Adobe Lifecycle Designer. Sometimes everything is correct but our output is not coming for the PDF form. In that case, you have to check the ADS connectivity, means Adobe Document Services Server Connectivity using the program FP underscore test underscore zero zero. You should understand the difference between the position and the floor. In case of position, setting the positions is in your hands. But if you have a floor, Starting position is not in your hand. When one sub form finish, immediately after that, the SAP will take the starting of the second sub form. So these are the major points which we covered in this video. That's it in this video. Thank you.